So this is an orange dream, yellow belly. Hey guys, it's Justin. We're back for another episode. Big thanks to all of you guys who watched the Halloween episode last week. Hey, Justin, I was just about to call you. The lights keep going off. And big props to Chase. A lot of you commented about his acting chops. He's got a gift for it. And it was a lot of fun to watch and enjoyed that. So this week we have kind of a combination of several different cool things. Um, one of them is we're gonna do a Punnett square for a double recessive mutation. Um, a lot of you are wondering when we did the Punnett square episode, how do you do it for double recessives? How does that work? Um, we're also gonna look at an Orange Dream Clown Pied Clutch, the best one I've had this year, crazy odds. Let's check that out. Then we're gonna get to a really awesome viewer question about what is one thing we do here at JKR that most people don't think of that really, really helps in what we do, something you guys might be able to use going forward. So last time we did the video where we went through some of the Punnett squares, we had a lot of questions about some of the more complicated squares, and there is an unlimited amount of different scenarios you can make. It's actually, you know, only limited by the number of morphs we have and combos we have, so it is unlimited. So we're going to do a double recessive clutch, um, a double hat to a double hat. That'll be a big one. So in that scenario, we're going to do Pied Clown because it's one of my favorites, and we're going to show a really awesome Pied Clown in this video. But we're going to denote the the um, clown as a, little, as a little C and the pie as a P. That way you can just keep it straight. It really doesn't matter which placeholder. Um, so this will be a double head. So if you were to look at the at each of the heads on both sides, it would be C, N, P, N. That's showing that it has a one copy of the clown gene plus a normal gene next to it. That's what makes it a head and not a visual. One copy of the pi gene plus a normal gene next to it. Again, a head. So this is a double head. And so we're going to have this on both sides. Okay, so that's your male. And then over here you'll have CNPN as your female. All right, so let's put them into the square and see how they play out. This is what gets fun. Okay, so what you do is you look at the scenarios. What could this female pass to its offspring? It could pass a single copy of the clown gene. It could pass a single copy of the pied gene. It could pass a copy of the pied and the clown gene. And it could pass a copy of the normal gene, just the normals like this. So one, two, three, and four. Those are the four things that that snake could pass to its offspring, the four scenarios. And it's gonna be the same with the female, a copy of the pied, a copy of the clown, a copy of the pied, a copy of the clown pied, and it could throw two normals. See? All right, so let's see how it plays out. The first baby is a clown. We got a clown from each parent. It is a visual clown. Second one got a copy of the, the clown gene and a copy of the pied, but just one from each. So that is a double het. Next one got two copies of the clown and a copy of the pied, so that is a clown, 100% hat pied. And then the next one is a copy of the clown and a copy of the normal, so that is a het clown. So we're gonna run through these a little faster. Okay, so right away, you see anything with two P's is gonna be visual pied, because it's got two copies of the pied gene. Anything with two C's, is going to be a visual clown. So using that scenario, you see that we have one that has two copies of the C and two copies of the P. That one right there is your visual clown pied. And there are 16 scenarios that are the options in order to get to that. The really, really cool thing is, is that the exact same one to 16, so remember, whatever is your odds for the very best snake in your clutch, it's the exact same odds for the very worst snake in your clutch. So that is the normal, also one in 16. So then if you look at how it played out, how many cl actually visual clowns we got. We got one, two, um, three, 
four. Four out of 16. That is one quarter of the clutch, so just like what we thought. So then we look at how many pies we got. We got one, two, three, and again, four. So again, 25% of the clutch. So if you get 25% times 25%, you get one in 16. And so that's where you're looking at the one in 16 odds for the double visual, that's the one you want. Now all of these that have a single copy of the het gene, like that one, that's clown het pied, that's pied het clown right there, those are all gonna be 66% het because you also have ones that have a normal gene instead. So that one is a regular clown without het pied and that one is a clown with het pied. You're not gonna know the difference, they're gonna look the same. But it's the same way as when you're doing het to het you're gonna have three out of every four will be het. No, two out of every three, excuse me. Two out of every three will be het. And so therefore, they are gonna be, that would, this right here would be a clown, 66% het pied. So that's basic double recessive genetics. Okay, so a really awesome clown pied clutch that I'm super excited about just hatched and it just had its first shed. So we have some other videos about how we kind of do the procedures of that, but we leave them all together until they've had their first shed. And this clutch has turned out absolutely incredible. I split between two tubs because it's a nice big clutch. But you see here, I don't know if that's on screen, the pairing was a orange dream yellow belly leopard pied head clown to a leopard double head clown pied. So we were working with one in eight odds to get any visual clown pieds. And actually on the clutch before this, we had 11 eggs and didn't get a single clown pied. So we were, <laughs> I was already kind of hurting for that, but we got 12 eggs on this one and just incredible odds. Okay, so we're gonna pull these over under the lights here. All right, so we got two boxes up. We're gonna look at this one first. So this is, looks like a pied um, head clown or an OD pied head clown. This is the only one that's not shed. So anything that's not visual clown um, is gonna be het pied because the dad was a visual pied. But anything that's not pied or clown will be a 66% het clown. So this is a nice, really nice leopard, possible super leopard. Yeah, that might be yellow belly too. Um, clown, 100% het pied. This really, really is a really cool OD clown with an incredible ringer. That's 100% het pied. Look at that ringer. That is so cool to see. Now ringers, people think that ringers are always het pied. That's not the case at all. But when you do have a ringer pop up from a clutch where there's het pieds or pos het pieds, the ringer is a really good indicator that it'll prove to be 100% het. So that's a really nice set. Uh, now this is 100% head no matter what, but that's nice to, really nice to see, especially on possible head clutches. We got a OD leopard pied head clown, and then this is the big one. This is the one that was so hard to hit. We had just missed, actually I think it was two clutches before this one, we missed on any clown pies out of, I think it was 11 eggs, and the odds are one and eight, the odds on this clutch are one and eight, and this time we really knocked it out of the park. So this is an orange dream, yellow belly, leopard clown pied. It's really, really cool. I got one of these last year that I didn't know if it was um, leopard or not, and I still don't know, but this one to me looks much more obvious to be leopard. Of course, there's a 75% chance by the odds um, when you look at the Punnett square for this one. 75% chance that it's leopard from that alone, but look at the purity of the color. It's got that jagged saddles that comes from the yellow belly. The orange, of course, is compounded from both the yellow belly and the orange dream together. Just amazing, and it's a girl too, so that was really cool to hatch a girl um, to grow up on this side. So the other half of this clutch also has a really, really, really unique animal, a couple other really nice pieces. So you see here, all their sheds are sitting over here. They just shed, pretty much most of them shed last night. But check that out. That's just a really amazing OD YB leopard pied 100% hat. No, 66% hat clown, excuse me. Really, really amazing. Got that same purity of color, but without the clown head there from our other snake. And this snake is the other one that really caught my eye. So this 
this theoretically would be an orange dream, yellow belly, leopard clown, or super leopard clown, 100% hat pied. Now I've made this combo before, and it was not nearly this beautiful, this pure, and, and the color is incredible. It's got a almost a pied white belly too, really amazing. So I don't know exactly why it turned out quite so orange and so clean color-wise. I don't know if it's blade working, I don't know if it's a super leopard, but I've had some similar combos and this is way better and it's really, really cool to see um, how pretty and just clean this snake is. And we got some other good pieces here. We got a, um, this is a yellow belly pied, 100% head clown, and we got a leopard yellow belly. Look at the difference there. This has leopard yellow belly, hut pied, 66% head clown, and then a regular leopard. Normally they look much more similar, but you have a really good color difference from the yellow belly in this snake over here. It's really kind of cool to see. Hey guys, so we had a really great question this week and it was, what's one thing we do in our weekly daily routine that makes us more efficient in how we do things? And for me, it's definitely our ID system where we start each individual baby with their own personal ID and then that, that transfers to our adults. So we've got like this amazing spot nose hypo desert ghost here and she looks incredible as always. And, you know, her ID is specific to her. So she was born in 2015, clutch number 31. And we can always go back to our system and look at that. So if a customer ever has questions on animals or, you know, what the pairing was, we can go back to our system and check that out. It's a really unique system and it works great for us. And that's something that definitely boosts us daily and weekly where we can always look something up. So I hope that helped.